In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Online recent documents web part. Uh, this is a web part which is available in the modern SharePoint sites. And uh, this is going to be a very short video. So let's start with. So I'll open uh, the SharePoint site. You can see here, this is my SharePoint site. And here first we will create a uh, site page. And on that page, we will add the web part. And then we will see how it works. So I'll click on pages. You can create the page from here. So you can see here, I uh, click on site page and you can see here, this is the page that we, it got created. And here I will say, let's say I'll give uh, the name as recent document web part. Uh, you can see here, this is the uh, page title I gave and click on publish. So then we'll edit this page. So once you publish this uh, page, you can edit it by clicking on this edit button. And before adding a web part on this to on this page, if you are new, new to the channel, my name is Vijay and I'm a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. Uh, subscribe to this channel so that you will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft 365. Now here I will search for a recent and you will get to see recent documents. So recent documents web part is a web part where you can uh, see documents for the logged in user like for example in this case i um, i have logged in you can see here and i should be able to see the documents which i have uploaded or i have worked with and not only from this site you can see it from other site you can see here this is this the first document i have worked on uh, on this internal site you can see this is learn microsoft 365 site on this site and then there will be there is you can see there is a mac site also which i have created and i have worked on those documents so it will show you all the documents here and if you just click on this edit web part you will not see much options here which you can do customization or anything like that by default it will display six items but you or documents you can say and you can give up to 500 so if you will give more than 500 then it will uh, tell you that you can uh, number of items must be between one to 500 so i'll let's say i'll put 100 documents uh, or 10 documents 50 documents based on that you will see uh, yeah, you know the documents you can see here like you see this hundred documents are there and in this case if you'll see here all these document which have we which we have which i have worked on in the entire uh, in my tenant with different different site collections as well so if, so this is the small video and if you want this kind of video tutorials then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on microsoft 365 spfx power platform all these things videos you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day